So if you own a 14 18 5.3 liter powered Silverado or Sierra, and you're looking for an intake that really provides the best of both worlds when it comes to open element designs and closed airbox designs, you should be checking out Air Raid's MXP series colder intake right in front of me, which includes a Syncta Max dry filter. What I really like about this setup is with the hood open, you get the open element design here. You get to see the big ass filter, which looks really cool. Something closed element designs do not offer, much like that kind of ugly factory airbox. However, the reason I call this a hybrid is because this does technically include a fully enclosed box. The open end here will provide the looks with the hood up. When the hood is down, however, the filter is fully insulated, also thanks to the weather stripping here. Now, what I really like about this design is that it actually changes the air inlet location. It does not pull air from inside the quarter panel. Instead, it actually draws air from underneath the truck. This is gonna give you that colder, denser air that a closed element design normally provides. Therefore, you are gonna get the most performance gains out of this intake. And on the note of performance, we actually ran our truck on the dyno bone stock and our truck made 284 horsepower and 313 pound feet of torque. We then installed the Air Raid MXP and we also included an appropriate tune and our truck made 295 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. So you're getting some pretty good peak and curve gains. Those curve gains are especially nice because that's what you're gonna be feeling off the line and when you're driving around on the streets. So if you like the way the MXP series looks and performs, again, certainly very unique hybrid take on those closed and open element air boxes, go ahead and stick around. I'm gonna show you guys how the install goes. It's very straightforward. You can get this done with basic hand tools in about 30 minutes to an hour. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this an easy one out of three wrenches on my patented difficulty meter. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. To install your new intake, you'll need the following tools. An 11 16 wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a T15 Torx bit, two Allen keys, a drive ratchet, an 11 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, and an eight millimeter socket. Optional but helpful tools include an extension and an impact gun. So before we can install our intake, we have to remove our factory setup. That starts with the intake tube itself. You're gonna need an eight millimeter deep socket to loosen the clamps on the tube. You got one right here behind the air box and one directly in front of the throttle body. Once you loosen those, you're gonna pull your two breather hoses on either side. Those are quick disconnect fittings, so you just gotta squeeze them to pull them off. Then we're also gonna disconnect our math sensor and then we can pull our tube out of the vehicle. Once you pulled your tube out of the truck, you can also pull the air box out. This is only secured by a few rubber grommets. You don't actually need any tools. All you gotta do is give it a firm tug like this to pop it out of that metal plate underneath, and then you can also pull the box out of the truck. All right, now that the factory air box is removed, we have to remove the metal mounting plate that it attaches to. There are four 10 millimeter bolts down here that you gotta pull out to remove the plate. Now, if you're using a power tool, it's kind of a tight fit, so it's helpful to have an extension. So now that we got our factory air box and tube off of our truck, it's time for us to do a little bit of work on the table here. We have to swap over our math sensor to our new intake tube. Before we do that, I wanted to point out a couple of things here. Compared to the factory air box, the new MXP box does a hell of a lot better job of pulling in cooler and denser air to your new element. That's gonna make more performance. Cooler, denser air is gonna to contribute to a better air to fuel mixture, which is where you get those horsepower and torque gains. What's really cool about this open element design here is it still comes pretty high up, so it does a really good job of insulating the filter. And then you got this unique inlet here on the bottom that actually pulls in cold air from underneath the fender well. Not many open element or closed element designs actually offer that, so that's pretty unique. I think that's a really cool design on Air Raid's part. All right, now that we got those comparisons out of the way, let's go ahead and pull our math sensor off of our air box. You're gonna need a T15 Torx bit on the screws here, and then you're gonna need a small Allen key for the hardware to secure it to the new tube. All right, now that we have our MAF sensor installed in the intake tube, the next step is installing these barb fittings. These are for your new breather hoses on either side of the motor. The elbow fitting goes on the driver's side and the straight fitting goes on the passenger side here. 
Now, these are plastic threads, so I'd be gentle. I'd only use hand tools or just your hands to thread these in place. All right, our intake tube is now set up and ready for install. Next, we gotta do some work to our new air box. We wanna install this plastic coupler on the inside here. You see the threaded holes on the plastic coupler here. You're gonna use three of the provided button head bolts to secure it to the air box. All right, with that plastic coupler in place for the filter, it's time for us to install the weather stripping on the top of the box. We want the weather stripping to follow the front half where the filter meets the tube. It's gonna help insulate the filter from that hot engine bay air when the hood is down. All right, now that our air box is all set up and ready to go, we can start installing our intake. Now that air box is pretty big, so getting it in the original location is a bit of a squeeze. To make it a lot easier on yourself, you can pop this little brace right here. There's two 10 millimeter bolts holding it there. But before we do that, we have to remove our radiator guard. All right, now that that brace is out of the way, we can install our air box. In the bottom of the air box are three holes. You're actually gonna use three of the original 10 millimeter bolts from the factory air box mounting plate to secure this to the vehicle in the same holes where the mounting plate was resting. All right, now that our air box is secured, we can install our air filter. You're gonna grab the appropriate size clamp like so, throw it over the rubber end of the air filter, make sure the fastener is facing up towards the hood. Then you're gonna slide the filter into the box and onto that plastic coupler we just installed earlier. Once you've done so, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket to tighten this down. All right, now that your air filter is installed in the box now, you've cleared this little brace. We're gonna reinstall that as well as our radiator cover. All right, now that everything is back in place, we're gonna start installing our tube. To do that, you're gonna grab the larger of the two rubber fittings like so. You're gonna grab two of the eight millimeter fastener clamps. You're gonna slide one end of this onto the plastic coupler for the filter, and you're gonna slide the other end onto the intake tube and tighten those down. Again, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket for these. All right, once you've slid the intake tube into this larger rubber coupler, it's a good trick to keep this loose, actually. You can push the tube all the way inside. That's gonna give you a little bit of free play here. That way you can get the other rubber coupler on the throttle body and the intake tube and tighten this down before you finish tightening this clamp down. All right, now that our intake tube is tightened down and secure, we're gonna install our new breather hoses. To do that, you're gonna disconnect the original hoses from either valve cover, and you're gonna replace those with these quick disconnect fittings with the barbed ends. Then you're gonna slide the breather hoses onto the valve cover end, as well as the intake tube side. All right, once your breather hoses are installed, go ahead and double check all your clamps and fittings, make sure everything's nice and tight. Once you're happy with everything, go ahead and plug in your MAF sensor. Since this is a dry filter, it is washable and reusable. 
I would say wash it with basic soap and water every oil change. It should last around 100,000 miles. Other than that, that actually wraps up my review of the Air Raid MXP Series cold air intake with the Syntha Max dry filter. I'm Travis. Thanks for watching. And for all things Silverado, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.